Hey, this is Pete Hink. I'm at Crystal River here to check out Sea and Shoreline's project. They started seven years ago on restoring seagrass. This area seven years ago was just nothing but mucky algae growth through this whole region. Since they started the project, they had a little bit of uh, people that kind of doubted what they were doing. It took a few years for it to really start to take off, but once it's taken off, the economic impact it's had has been amazing. The tourism, the kayaking, tour boats, the amount of manatees are there cannot eat enough grass to uh, take away from what they've done. They've even got the schools involved where kids in fifth grade raise grass and they go ahead and they plant it themselves in this area, in the Kings Bay area of Crystal River. It is amazing what they have done in just seven years. What started off as just a few acres has turned into almost 200 acres of lush seagrass. It's just starting to span and starting to move out. And as the seagrass moves in, it chokes out the algae that had taken this area over for years and years. So it is making a very impressive comeback. We're hopefully gonna do the same thing in the Indian River Lagoon. This is Joe and Marie. They live here in Crystal River, and I just want to get their opinion on what has happened over the last seven years with this seagrass restoration project that they have. It's really interesting when you do be able to talk to the locals. Let's go ahead. Well, I live right on the water, and our area was really impacted by a lot of muck. We had probably three to four feet of just oozy muck in our area. And once the, the muck was removed and we got down to hard sand and then the grasses came in, the grasses were planted and they came in, we saw a huge difference in the way people enjoyed the water. They would come and they would, they would snorkel, they would enjoy the wildlife, they, they were watching the little fishies and, and the crabs and everything else that came back that hadn't been seen in a long time. It was really fun to see people truly enjoying the water again rather than messing around in the muck. Mm -hmm. And I also live on the water and I wouldn't go out on my back porch because the smell of the lingvia was so bad. And you know when you've lived in a house for 40 years you expect to be able to go out and enjoy it and it got to the point I'm like this is ridiculous we have to move this is mm -hmm. terrible. And then when all of this started the water's clear now, it's beautiful, we have grass, we have manatee, we have snorkelers behind the house all the time. It really, the difference is amazing. The manatee are happy, the people are happy. We've had fish come back, we've had mullet come back. And the one day we had uh, sheep's head, and I went running inside going, we have sheep's head! And my husband was like, yeah, we used to, and but we didn't. We didn't have those things. They all disappeared. And we've had crab, we even had a stingray array behind our house. So the change and plus the water is so clear. And because I work with the school, uh, the one year I took, we were doing water sampling. So I took water from behind my house and it looked like mud. And so the next year I took water from behind my house and we were gonna sample it. And this little child looked at me and said, I know you, you're the one that brought the mud last year. I said, yeah, but this year, this is the same water. And that really impressed them because they remembered. You know, they had seen it one year, then they saw it the next year, and there's a big difference. And they remembered the mud because that's what it was. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah, one of the amazing things, and what I hear, especially up, you know, in Sebastian area, people always talking about the manatees, and the manatees are the reason why all the seagrass is gone. No. Here, I tell you, it's not true. They, mm -hmm. Here, they've got, what, 600 manatees? They, last year, they said 800. 800 manatees, and the seagrass project that they started, there's enough seagrass for all the manatees. Yeah. The tour boats are just, I mean, I've never seen so many tour boats to doing tours on to see the manatees at these springs and everything. So, you know, it can be done. And we're gonna work hard to get it done over on the East Coast like they did over here on the West Coast. This is really a very good success story. And with companies like Sea and Shoreline, and then especially with the community, I mean, they couldn't have done it without community support. People like this that, that went out of their way to really push this project through. And uh, if they can do it there, we can do it over here on the East Coast. So. Yes, you can. So, this is Pete Hink, till next time. We'll see you. That's good.